In this video, we're doing the biggest giveaway we've done all year. We are actually giving away an entire extractor and steamer package together. Now listen, before we go any further in the video, because I know you guys are interested in the giveaway more than anything else, because who wouldn't want to win an extractor and steamer package together? The link is in the YouTube description box below. There are no strings attached. I am not sponsored by Aqua Pro Vac. I don't get paid for you guys contributing in the giveaway. I don't receive anything. We just like to do giveaways on the channel because they're super exciting and fun to do. So once again, if you want to enter your name to win the Aqua Pro Vac and the Aqua Pro Steamer package, go below in the YouTube description box. There's a link there and you can enter to win. Now guys, for the rest of this video, I actually want to do a combo review of the Aqua Pro Vac and Aqua Pro Steamer because this extractor and steamer are two tools that I suggest for anybody on a budget and they are incredibly useful for the prices that they sit at. So let's go ahead and jump into the video and get into this review. But before we do, while you are below in the YouTube description box entering to win the giveaway, you will also find my essential detailing toolbox, which is our top 12 tools and products for this year revised and updated that you guys need to start your detailing business all for under $500. So if you're on a budget and you're interested in starting your detailing business by getting all the tools and products that you need, go below in the YouTube description box, click the link to the Essential Detailing Toolbox, download the PDF and the free video series, and you will get all the info that you need. Now let's get into the video. Now we're going to start off taking a look at the Aqua Pro Vac Extractor. You can see me disconnect and sort of disassemble the major parts of this extractor so you can see exactly where things go, but the main thing I want to point out here is just how portable this machine is. In terms of the world of extractors, it's not often that you get something with enough suction and enough power to really justify using it and enough portability where no matter where you are in your detailing journey, you you can use this machine throwing it in your car, your van, your truck, or wherever. Now I'm going to go ahead and start using this machine. You're going to see me use it in a few different scenarios on carpets and on upholstery. I'm going to be using my steamer in conjunction with the extractor in different situations, but I want to answer some of the most obvious questions and common questions that people ask about an extractor like this. The number one question that gets asked is, does it have enough suction to really justify me getting this extractor? And here's where I want to talk about kind of a concept I don't hear a lot of people talk about in the detailing world. When it comes to extractors, Number one, it's a very normal thing to ask, does it have enough suction? That's the number one thing we're concerned about because in a lot of ways, the suction power really has a lot to do with the results that we're going to be able to get or not get. But the other thing to think about here is something that I would call the marginal return of the price of an extractor. And what I mean is, there is a certain dollar amount that when you stay underneath it, you're going to get a certain performance level and over that dollar amount, you're not necessarily increasing in performance level until you cross a much higher dollar amount. So if you don't win this giveaway, right, this extractor starts at $550. That's where the price sits. And the point I'm making here is, let's say you purchased an extractor that was $750 instead of this one, which is $550. That difference of $200 from the $550 here and the $750 of another extractor, or let's say $800 for another extractor, doesn't necessarily increase the performance level of the extractor $200 or $250 worth you're in some ways kind of paying more for the same performance level. And that's what I'm talking about, this marginal return. Only when you pass, let's say, $1,000, $1,500, $2,000, that's when you start to experience an obvious difference in the performance level of the extractors. And so the Aqua Provac here is what I suggest for any detailer who doesn't want to spend over, let's say, about $1,200 because the next extractor that I think is worth the money to upgrade to after the Aqua Provac is the Mighty Light 8070, and that's going to be uh, $1,200 or more, maybe $1,100 in certain places. But the point is you have to increase to that amount in order to start really increasing in performance. So the Aqua Provac is definitely the best extractor that sits at this price point. Now, to answer the question in a little bit more detail, does the suction, let's say, provide enough power for me to even justify the $550 cost? The simple answer, as you can see in this video, is undoubtedly yes. 
What many detailers don't understand is they think when I get an extractor, I'm going to be able to do all this magic on a car that I wasn't able to do before. And what you realize as you start working with extractors of all kinds, as I have, because my job kind of lends itself to me working with a lot of different extractors, is the real power in using an extractor in terms of getting the results you want is not necessarily in this crazy suction or a ton of water being poured out, but rather the chemicals and the preparation before before you actually use the extractor. What type of chemical are you using to pull up stains? What kind of drill brushes or other brushes are you using? What kind of experience do you have to combine certain chemicals in certain situations, potentially even with other tools like a steamer before you use an extractor? All of those things play far more of a role in your ability to get results than necessarily the extractor that you purchase. And so I look at the Aqua Provac as that icing on the cake. This is going to push you over the edge when you've got all of that stuff dialed in. Often we blame the tool we're using for a lack of results when really it's our lack of experience or a lack of understanding in how to do certain types of prep work before we use the tool. So this gives you a good idea of the Aqua Pro Vac. Now I want to move to the Aqua Pro Steamer, which is the second thing being thrown into this giveaway. I still can't believe that they're actually giving away both of these machines for free. Once again, to sign up for that giveaway, there are literally no strings attached. I don't make any money from this. I'm not sponsored by them. We're just doing this to give something away and have a little bit of fun. So here is the Aqua Pro Steamer. You guys can see the handle in my hand as well as a little bit of an overview of the body of the steamer itself. Now, moving into the Aqua Pro steamer, let's talk about this in the same way we talked about the Aqua Pro Vac. Is the Aqua Pro steamer really worth the money? Well, in the same way that I have a specific way of viewing the value of different extractors, like I already explained, I have the same exact metric in viewing the value of different steamers because like I said, in my job, I get to review tools and products all the time. And so I've gotten my hands on many, many, many different steamers, expensive, inexpensive, and everywhere in between. So the main difference that really separates steamers in terms of like marginal return, which again, when I say marginal return, what I mean is there's certain things that you have to have. And then beyond those things, you really only get a small return for those nuanced additions. It's kind of like the difference between driving, let's say, a nice Toyota Camry, that's a 2022, and then driving a, an awesome new Tesla, right? Both of them get you from A to B. Both of them are really nice rides, right? They're both 2022 new vehicles, and both of them are comfortable. But when you get into that Tesla, there's a certain marginal return where the Tesla might be $100,000 and the Toyota Camry might have been $35,000. There's a big difference in the price, but does the Tesla really return $65,000 extra worth of luxury and incredible nuance? For some people, maybe it does. For some people, maybe it doesn't. But that's the way I view steamers and extractors in the detailing world. The Aqua Pro Steamer has everything that a detailer must have for a steamer to operate well in their day to day. Where are the areas of a steamer that separate the expensive ones from the inexpensive ones, the convenient from the inconvenient? One of those areas is going to be whether or not a steamer is automatically filling, right? That, that's something we can purchase where you actually don't have to refill the steamer manually while you're using it. And the other one might be just a larger tank size that actually holds more water that therefore allows the detailer to move through an entire vehicle without having to refill the steamer. That is the main thing that separates steamers, in my opinion, outside of the nuanced levels of higher steam, lower steam, higher pressure, lower pressure settings, more water, less water. Once again, those are kind of the marginal return settings that don't matter so much to a guy like me. Now, the Aqua Pro Steamer, generally speaking, needs to be refilled if you use it the way I do on a car this size, no more than once. And what I mean is you could fill it up from the beginning and use it on an entire in interior of a Prius. I did not have this all the way filled before I started, and that's why I had to refill it about three quarters of the way through. Now, this particular steamer, like I said, has everything that a detailer could and could want and, and would want and needs when they are using a steamer. And in fact, I like the simplicity of it because all I have to do is fill it up, turn it on, and press the trigger. A lot of other steamers require a lot of different buttons to be pressed, settings to be dialed 
dialed in that almost are just, like I said, unnecessary for the work a detailer has to do, maybe more necessary for other fields, but not necessarily auto detailers. And sitting at about $440 at price, this steamer works incredibly for detailers who want a machine that can literally last years, but they don't want to go over that $1,000 price point. In the same way that I described extractors, really not returning a huge difference from the cheaper ones until you get really expensive, steamers are like that as well. Generally speaking, I use the VX5000, that's about a thousand dollar plus steamer, but again, the Aqua Pro Vac does everything my VX5000 does, there's just a few nuanced settings that I like on those more expensive machines, but the Aqua Pro Vac is what I suggest for anyone who is on even mildly a budget. Now you might compare this to the Mac Culloch steamers that sit around $150 to $200. The best I can do in comparing those is giving you what other people have told me. I have used McCulloch steamers very rarely in my detailing business, but that the McCulloch steamers are something that most detailers have to replace about once a year. And the Aqua Provac, I have not spoken to even one person who has had to replace it even once, or Aqua Pro steamer rather. They have not had to replace it even once. All right, guys, that is it. A deep review of where I think both of these tools fit best in the detailing world. Make sure to go below in the YouTube description box and enter the giveaway because this is a huge giveaway. We've never done this before. So make sure you do not miss out. And while you are in the YouTube description box, make sure to click that link to get the Essential Detailing Toolbox where we give you a PDF of the top 12 tools and products you need to start your business all for under $500 because the detailing business is so confusing. There's so many tools and products out there. Sometimes you just need a voice to cut through all that BS to give you exactly what you need so you don't have to think about it. And that is the essential detailing toolbox below in the YouTube description box. Guys, thank you so much for watching. And as always from Luke here at Wilson Auto Detailing, keep working hard and I'll see you in the next video.